Wow. Yum. These guys look like they're ready to go, huh? Here's what we're looking at right down there. They go down along the edges there, and then also here at the parking lot, these berms we're putting in with the wood chips here, and then around over here, and then eventually down that area there, which will be filled up with uh, wood chips from those piles. Yeah, you can see that this is a pretty dry substrate that we're looking at right here. We're gonna have to see if we can get some uh, water on the situation. A little bit of extra drywall. Okay. Putting in a little bit of the gypsum. Look at that. Back to the earth. That little herisium, huh? Uh, this is the oyster. That's the oyster, okay. Craig's piling up the herisium now, up on top. Slightly heavier concentration of inoculation on the herisium than with the oyster mushroom. What we got is uh, this whole area that you see here is uh, wood chips. These are uh, cottonwood mostly cottonwood chips, and they've been inoculated with the oyster mushroom. And Glenn and Craig are down there watering right now to get them set. And after this, they probably won't see uh, any supplementary water. They'll just get whatever water's uh, coming in, uh, you know, from rain and whatnot. And uh, then we'll also put uh, fried chickens underneath the, underneath the big Siberian elm trees there. Um, in general, this whole area is going to have very little supplemental water. They'll only have about uh, enough water to irrigate uh, about 10,000 square feet, and this is a 52,000 square foot area. So there'll be a little bit of irrigation that we'll be able to use. And these beds, these mushroom beds, will help hold moisture. They'll actually, as the mushroom breaks them down, it will continue to produce uh, water because water is a byproduct of the mushroom's respiration. Mm -hmm.